Hey, welcome to another Simple Invest video. So this is just a short video regarding uh, plotting efficiency. So if you want to build a lean mean plotting machine, you got to trim the X fat. Okay, so what I mean by X fat? So let's uh, show you via my disk management. So in this, this is the Windows disk management too. When you format your disk, right? So let's say this is my temp drive, T drive. And let's say we select format this one we can only do ntfs so let's see if i can choose something else maybe this one yep so this this is a uh, one of the choices here so when you choose to format at this right you have a choice of either xfat which is exfat or ntfs uh, I believe we don't get a choice for FAT32 now on Windows 10. So by the way, this is using Windows 10. And uh, XFAT has certain benefits. The benefits are that XFAT can handle, from what I read, is that XFAT can handle a larger file format or more larger file sizes. But uh, now that I've done more research into it, actually XFAT does reduce the, your efficiency or the speed of your drive. So whether it's an NVMe drive or a hard disk or SAS drive or a regular HDD, it will reduce the speed. So in exchange for the ability, I think, to handle uh, larger files more securely, more safely, and so on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna link another uh like a website or an, a website article report that does a more detailed investigation into the differences between like XFAT, FAT32 as well as uh, NTFS. So what I've done is that previously, when I first set up my temp drive, it was uh, on XFAT. I formatted it using XFAT. And I realized that my read and write speeds, which I don't have it here. Uh, yeah, my read and write speeds, I don't have the exact record here, but basically my maximum read speed was around 500 to around 500-ish megabyte per second. And then my maximum write speeds was on average a lot less than 500 megabyte per second. So most of the time it was averaging like maybe 100 plus, so like 100 megabyte per second. And the, the maximum write speed was way less than 500 megabyte per second. And I recently uh, so got a tip from one of our community members and I actually tried reform. Uh, oh, another thing was that when I was on the XFAT system, my NVMe temperatures were regularly 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. It would hit as much as even, I think, 65 degrees Celsius without an active fan blowing at it. So take note that this is already, this my NVMe already has a heat sink with a thermal tape, thermal pad attached to it because I'm using the uh, Gigabyte X570 Tomahawk motherboard, which already comes with a heat shield. And their heat shield already comes with thermal pads behind it. So it's supposed to already act as a heat sink. And I even went the further step of uh, changing that stock thermal pad with premium thermal right thermal pads, which has a higher thermal conductivity. So the heat sink should have been good. But I was regularly seeing, uh, without an active fan blowing at the, at the NVMe heat sink, it was hitting around 65 degrees Celsius, which was pretty, was considered pretty high because a lot of my community members uh, in the chat community member section, they were saying that their NVMe temperatures was only around 45, 40-ish. So they don't even hit 50 degrees Celsius on their NVMe drives. So they were, so initially I suspected the problem was the heat sink. But after uh, changing it to the NTFS, after reformatting my NVMe to the NTFS file system, and uh, now, again, now again, I'm plotting. So you can see that my swap plot manager is running in the background. I'm actively plotting. And let's check our uh, temp. So this is hardware info. So if my portrait blocks it, let me bring it to the middle. Uh, I'm running a Gigabyte Aorus Gen 4 NVMe drive, which is a two terabyte single drive. Yep, so we can see here, the maximum temperature I've hit now on the NTFS file system is 49 degrees Celsius and my current my current temperature is at 44 and averages at around 46. So if we compare to what I saw before, that is a good, so it's currently about 44. Previously I was averaging about 45. So a good 10 to 15 degrees drop 
in the average temperatures for the NVMe. So that is a uh, so one thing is if the NVMe runs too hot, there's a chance for it to thermal throttle. So which was what I was uh, suspecting before that my NVMe was thermal throttling, but actually it was not. So it was actually throttled by the XFAT file system. And another thing was uh, once I switched on to XFAT. So previously my maximum read and write speeds was uh, 500 to less than 500 for write. Read is also around 500 megabytes per second. But if you look at my maximum read and write speeds now on hardware info, so this is after I've uh, changed it. So this is not edited. This is fresh hardware info. You can see that sometimes it spikes up a bit, but the maximum read speed is 2.3 gigabytes per second. So this is in six digits. So this is in millions of megabytes per second. So it's 2.3 gigabyte per second maximum read speed. And the maximum write speed is 1.1 gigabytes per second maximum write speed. And you can see here they expect up to 450, 455 plus it will hit uh to and fro. So another issue was that when previously when I was on the XFAT file system, my write activity, even though when I was like writing just uh one plot, like one single plot, my write activity would hit 100 percent And definitely with uh two and three concurrent plots, it definitely hit 100 percent My reads my read activity was also constantly at 100 percent but if you look at it now, so I'm running three concurrent plots and my write activity sometimes spikes down to like single digit percentage points. It's nowhere near 100%. So for my re that's for my write, for my read activity as well, you can see that now it's in single digits and now it only goes up to 20. It's nowhere near 100%. So basically with the XFAT file system, it was a lot less, way less uh, efficient compared to the NTFS. So this is uh, to maybe to this is to help some of the online uh, chart plotters because I've seen quite a few comments uh, sometimes in uh, YouTube videos uh, and so, so sometimes in Reddit and so on that you know, people were complaining about slow write speeds. You can just see that earlier it spiked my write speed here. It spiked to one, one gigabyte per second for a, sh for a short while. Yeah. So the NTFS files are definitely help. So uh, getting back to my point is that I was seeing a lot of online comments that are uh, complaining about they have very limited write speeds. Like they were, they felt that their plotting was really slow, even though their computer systems were considered mid to high end, and they couldn't figure it out. Like they had a good NVMe SSD, they had enough RAM, they had uh sometimes a mid range or even sometimes a high end CPU, but they are. Their plotting speed was nowhere near what some other users on my were commenting on. So this, I feel like this is a, a possible reason because not a lot of people online have commented on the differences between uh, XFAT as well as NTFS for your temp plotting drive. So this, take note, this is for a temp plotting drive. For the perm drives though, I do have a perm drive here. This is a Western Digital MicBook and uh, it is an external hard disk. And when I unboxed it and so it's instantly plug and play you don't have to format it when i unboxed it and plugged it in uh it was instantly on the xfat file system but this is for a perm drive which i believe should be all right because uh, for perm drives the read and write speeds are not that critical it is uh more for storing large chunks of storage and this is a 12 terabyte drive so maybe that's why they choose the xfat system for that so i'm not going to reformat that because i'm not using it as a temp drive i'm not going to plot on it so i'm going to leave it as xfat but for anything that you plot on, that means definitely your fast NVMe temp drives, I would highly recommend that you leave it, that you reformat it to the NTFS file system to have a quick plotting speed. So uh, all in all, so to, in summary, if you want the lean mean plotting machine, trim that XFAT. See you next time.